Hello Kitty Queens and Kitty Beauty Tees. I'm back with another client tutorial and today I'm going to be showing y'all how I created this slime green glitter bead because it is given. Okay, this tutorial will be a step-by-step -step video of how I created this transformation. I'm showing y'all how I prep the face and everything I do on the eyes. So if you've been waiting on a video like that, then the wait is over. I'm starting this tutorial off by cleaning my model's face. Then I'm just going to proceed to doing her eyebrows and to outline her brows I'm using my LA colors dark brown eyebrow pencil and I'm trying to be as light-handed with this as possible just because I didn't want her brows to look too dark because as y'all can see my model is very very light so I didn't want her eyebrows to look too harsh Now that both her brows have been outlined, I'm going to start filling them in from the back and working my way up to the front. As I said earlier, I am trying to be very light-handed with this pencil, so to thin it out a little bit, I'm taking this flat eyeshadow brush and I'm using it to spread the product around so I don't have to brush it through her brows as much. Then to fill in the front of her brows, I'm taking this ash brown eyebrow pencil and I'm just going to brush through everything so it can blend nicely. And now I'm just repeating the same process on the other eyebrow. Took some of my Kiss I Envy clear lash glue and I applied it to her brows to mold the hairs down and now I'm just taking my spoolie to brush them all in place. To clean up her eyebrows, I'm going to be going in with these two e.l.f. hydrating concealers. And these are in the shades Medium Peach and Medium Sand. First, I'm going to be taking the color Medium Peach and I'm going to be using this to clean up under her arch because it's lighter. I'm going to be using this concealer to clean up about two thirds of the way underneath her brow. And then once I feel like I've created a clean line, I'm just going to drag that concealer down. Now to clean up the remainder of the way, I'm going in with the shade Medium Sand. When cleaning up the brows, I like to continuously go back in just to make sure my line is as sharp as possible. It's almost like you want to give the brows an edge up, okay? You want it to be as crisp and as neat as possible. So you will see me going back and forth. Now that I've created a clean line underneath her brows, I'm just going to go ahead and buff that concealer out and then I'm going to proceed to clean it up the top.
now that this brow is nice and clean i'm just gonna buff that concealer out and just look at it y'all look at this side compared to the other side now you probably see what i mean when i say edge up okay you gotta get that brow nice and slim and nice and crisp Now that both the brows have been clean, I'm gonna take my Dermablend Translucent Powder and I'm just gonna press this throughout her brows to lighten them up. For an eyeshadow base, I'm gonna be using my e.l.f. Camo Concealer and it's in the shade Fair Rose. I went ahead and applied it all over her lids and now I'm just blending it out using this dense eyeshadow brush. For this look, I ended up using three different eyeshadow palettes, so y'all get ready because we're about to step right into it. I'm starting it off with my Jaclyn Times Morphe palette, and I'm taking that warm brown shade right there, and I'm going to be using it as a transition. So I'm starting to apply it on the outer edge of her eyes, and then once the color is built up, I'm going to start bringing it in a little bit more. Now I'm going in with my Technic palette and I'm going to be taking this dark brown and black eyeshadow from the palette and I'm going to be applying these colors to her crease. First I'm going in with the dark brown one and then I'm going in with the black shade right on top. And once I have it all applied I'm going to go back in with that blending brush and use it to blend all these colors together. Now I'm taking my Be Perfect Carnival XL palette and I'm using these two greens out of the palette and I'm going to be applying them to her lids. First I'm going in with the dark green shade and I'm just pressing this on her lids using this blending brush. I want all my colors to be blended together nicely. Once I have the color all built up, I'm going to start applying that neon green to the inner corners of her eye.
I'm going back in with that brown from the Technic palette and I'm using it to blend out the edge of her eyeshadow. Now I'm going back into my Be Perfect palette and I'm taking that yellow eyeshadow and I'm going to be applying this on the edge of the lime green shade that we used. Now I'm just going to go ahead and follow the same steps on the other eye. Before I add the glitter, I'm just going to go ahead and line her eyes. And to line her eyes, I'm using my Wet n Wild Black Liquid Liner. I'm gonna go back in with some more of that black eyeshadow and use it to blend out the end of her liner. For her glitter, I'm taking this yellow fine glitter that was sent to me from Row Cosmetics on Instagram and I'm using this glitter primer that I bought in a pack of glitter from the dollar store. I used this in my dollar store makeup tutorial but now I'm taking this tapered eyeshadow brush and I'm using it to press the glue all over her eyes and then I'm going to go in with this dense eyeshadow brush and I'm going to use it to press the glitter right on top of the glue. This is literally my favorite adhesive to use when it comes to fine glitters and I usually don't show y'all this in video just because I don't know if they still sell this glue in the store or not and as I said it came in a pack of glitter but now I'm taking this flat eyeshadow brush and I'm using it to fill in all the gaps in my opinion this glue has the same consistency as clear lip gloss it works perfect with my fine glitters but when it comes to my chunky glitters they just do not adhere so i don't know if it's lip gloss that they're selling in this tube or what but it's my favorite thing to use when it comes to fine glitters i'm not telling y'all to go and put some lip gloss on y'all eyes and put glitter on top of it but if you do girl tell me how it went So we've completed the eyes and now I'm just about to prep her face to remove all the fallen glitter from her face. I like to use tape just because it's very quick and it gets every little piece of glitter. Now I'm just going to be taking some makeup remover on a cotton pad and I'm using it to remove all of the eyeshadow fallout.
to moisturize her face i'm going in with my pons moisturizer i use this on all of my clients and i like to apply it to the face using this big flat brush and i just make sure i apply it all over the skin as generous of an amount as possible and then i go in with my real technique sponge and i use it to press it into their face and yes my sponge is damp Now I'm just going to be priming her skin and to prime her face I'm using my Calamine lotion and I like to use the Walgreens brand but I'm just going to focus this product in her T-zone and I normally go in and blend it out with my Real Technique sponge as well but I guess I either didn't do it for this look or I just left it out of this video. I can't remember but you don't have to blend it out with the sponge that step is optional. Now I'm taking these two Maybelline foundations and I'm going to be mixing them together first I'm going in with the darker shade and I'm just applying it to the lower portions of her face and then I'm gonna go in with the light shade and apply it right above it to blend out these foundations I'm gonna be going in with this dense foundation brush and I'm just using it to tap the foundation into her skin Now I'm going in with my e.l.f. concealer in medium peach and I'm going to be using this to highlight her face. To blend out the concealer, I'm going in with the same brush that I used to blend out her foundation. Now I'm just going to go ahead and bronze up her face a little bit. So I took my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and I chose one of the subtle shades because I didn't want this to look like a heavy contour and I'm just pressing it into her face using that foundation brush. I wanted everything to look nice and blended and I wanted her face to be real subtle since her eyes were so bold.
I applied some more concealer under her eyes and now I'm just blending it out using my Real Technique sponge. I'm gonna be alternating between the sponge and my foundation brush just to blend out that line of demarcation between the concealer and her contour. To set her highlighted areas, I'm going to be going in with these two powders, my Fit Me and my Derma Blend. First, I'm taking my Fit Me Press Powder and I'm just pressing this on all of the areas that we highlighted using my Real Technique sponge. Now I'm going to be going in with my Derma Blend powder and I'm going to be pressing this everywhere that we applied the Fit Me powder. I like to use this just to mattify everything and just make sure it's really set into the face. set the contoured areas of her face I'm going in with my fit me press powder and it's in the shade mocha I'm going in with another Fit Me Press Powder and it's in the shade Sun Beige and I'm using this to set all of the remaining areas of her face. I'm taking some gel liner on a Q-tip and I'm using this to line her waterline. I'm only going to be taking this halfway. Now I'm taking some black eyeshadow and I'm applying this to the edge of her lower lash line. I'm going in with that darker green eyeshadow and I'm applying it right underneath the black. Now I'm going to take the light green shade and I'm going to be smoking this out towards the inner corner of her lower lash line. So this is what her eyes are looking like so far. Now it's time to go in with lashes. So these are the lashes I'm taking. They were sent to me. The company will be listed in the description box down below, but the style name is Radiant. I went ahead and cut them to fit her eyes off camera. Now I'm just gluing them to her lash line.
Now that the lashes are on, I'm gonna go back in with my foundation brush and use it to press in all of the powder that is sitting on her face. I'm gonna go ahead and spray her face with some setting spray and then once that's all dried up I'm just gonna start highlighting her face first I'm gonna highlight the tip and the bridge of her nose using this small detail brush to highlight her face I'm just using a champagne colored eyeshadow I like using eyeshadows as highlighters yes I have highlighters I have a whole bunch of highlighters y'all but I just like using eyeshadows I feel like the payoff is just it looks good and it's easier to blend for me but now I'm just taking those eyeshadows and I'm just applying them to the high points of her face For her lips, I went in with this trio right here, and this has been like my go-to, y'all. But I'm going to start outlining her lips first, and to outline them, I'm taking this lip liner from J Cat's Beauty, and it's just a brown lip liner. And as y'all can see, she already has pretty full lips, so I'm not going to overline or anything. I'm just going to line out the natural shape. For the center of her lips, I'm going in with this liquid lipstick from Zarura Cosmetics. It's in the shade number 39. And I just applied it to her lips with a disposable lip applicator. Then I had her pat them together to help me blend it out. And this was a cute combo by itself, y'all. It was giving very much fall, but this is more of a springy look. So I went into the center of her lips with this light lip gloss from Color Me Happy. You can find them on Instagram as well. And I just used this to lighten them up. Once that was finished, I went ahead and relined her lips with the pencil. And once I'm finished relining them, I did go on top of this whole combination with a clear lip gloss just to make them real glossy. Y'all know I love me a good old glossy lip, period. I'm going to reline her lips one more time and once that's finished we'll be getting into the grand reveal so I'm just going to let y'all watch. You ready to see? Mm -hmm. Let's see how beautiful. <gasps> oh I look fine. Yeah. Mm. Y'all see me? 
Okay, queens, it's the end of this video. As you can see, this tutorial was another success. I think this look came out so bomb. I hardly ever mess with greens, but this was just beautiful. She said this look reminded her of Princess and the Frog, so that's what we're gonna call it, period. It's giving very much slime, okay? I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for my next one. Bye-bye, queens.